In a previous video, we created an Android project. I'd like to share the progress with you as we work through this project, so I want to share it on GitHub. First of all, what I want to do is in Android Studio, go to File and then Settings. And then the easiest way to find our GitHub settings is simply to type in Git uh, or GitHub if you prefer. Now, this is an interesting one because you see, I actually have two GitHubs. I have one that's internal to the University of Cincinnati, and then I have a public GitHub presence as well. So github.com slash discospiff. And since a lot of these videos are on YouTube, I want to put it in both places, but I'm going to start with the public GitHub. So I'm simply going to change the host from github.uc.edu. We will change that to github.com, like so. Okay. Uh, login, of course, I'll use my use, my uh, public login. So login is discospiff. And password is snoopy14. Of course, I'm kidding. It's not really snoopy14. Uh, actually, okay. So I choose okay. And now in my project, I'm going to say import into version control, share project on GitHub. And this is going to give me an opportunity to uh, make a new repository. I have one here called Plant Places Mobile. I just want to make sure I do not already have one with that name. Although I really ought to give it something uh, a little more specific than that. But I'll go ahead and I'll go to uh, repositories. And just a quick check. Search repositories, Plant Places Mobile. Uh, okay. Nothing called Plant Places Mobile. Now I have several similar project on, projects on GitHub. It's kind of hard to tell them apart. I'm going to put a suffix of 27 just because that's, we well, yeah, actually will make it 26 because that's the Android version that I'm targeting here. So we can tell it apart from other Android versions. Uh, now I choose share. Sit back and relax for just a minute as it initializes repository. And it tells me what I, it asks me what I want to commit. This is, although there's a lot of files here, uh, this is actually just a, a, a beginning project, a project I've just started the basics out. So this is everything that the new project wizard has created for me. One thing I will point out is it has created this file called .gitignore. That's a very important file because it tells us what should not go to GitHub. Uh, we don't want to push compiled files to GitHub because all we really want to save is the source. Additionally, if we do push compiled files, then Git has a little problem telling what's changed. It thinks the whole file has changed instead of maybe just one little part. And so then you can get into a multiple head scenario, which can get really tricky because it says, hey, there's been too much changing going on. We'll go ahead and say initial commit and then I'll choose OK. Let that go for just a few more moments. You see the status down at the bottom, uh, pushing to GitHub master, so on and so forth. And now we see successfully shared project, Plain Places Mobile 26 with a link. Um, sure, we'll go ahead and add, the, add that VCS. Let's run back to GitHub now and let's see. Uh, let's see, I did have 20 repositories. Let me go back and see if that number has updated. Sure enough, we now have 21 repositories, including this one called Plain Places Mobile 26. Now, a couple of thoughts here. Uh, I will try to push a commit after just about every single video. Uh, Git is really great if you're working in a team environment and you want some collaboration. It is also great if you're just an individual contributor working on a hobby project. Uh, some of the things we'll get into in this series and this semester are things like feature branches and code reviews. Some of the great tools that we can use in Git and GitHub to make our developing lives easier. Now, one thing I would recommend in a group setting, only one person in the group should do what I just did, and that is create a new Android project and push it. Everybody else in the project should simply clone the repository that already exists. It shouldn't be a case where everybody makes the project individually and then tries to commit and push because there again, Git, GitHub will look at that and realize that these are three different projects. It gets confused and you get into one of those multiple head scenarios, which is really tricky to undo. Uh, just one more thing you don't want to have to deal with. So we choose file and then new and then project from version control. Notice it's not open. It's new project from version control. Uh, GitHub. Now what we want to do is we want to go grab the clone URL. Do you see this clone or download here? Uh, hit copy right here. And I'm not actually going to do this because I already have the project open. But you see, here's our Git repository URL where we want to save it. If I hit clone right now, what Android Studio is going to do is it's going to go out to GitHub, grab that project, 
clone it locally, and then I would have it locally on my desktop. I am leaving this repository as public. You're more than welcome to do this, to grab my source code off of GitHub, no problem. Makes it a little bit easier if you're following along. So two things, or a few things in GitHub, creating the project, pushing it, um, uh, seeing it, and then cloning it down as another user. This is really oil in the machine that's going to help us to work together in a group environment. And I call GitHub programming in the cloud because you're really programming with your colleagues and all of it's living in this GitHub cloud. If you're in the habit of save it to a flash drive and give it to your colleague, or you're in the habit of uh, zip it up and email it to your colleague, get out of that habit. It's very unproductive. As soon as you zip it up, as soon as there are multiple copies, it becomes a maintenance nightmare uh, to try to manage these. So try to avoid that habit. One other thing I'll say, this is simply introduction. Let me point you to some other videos that are uh, cover a whole lot of this in more detail. And this is from a former student of mine, Will Willis, a uh, student who took a class from me, I want to say about four or five years ago, and I just ran into him last month. And as part of the class he took from me, uh, he was required to make a video on something we did not cover in class. And you see he made here Android Studio and GitHub Lesson 1 setup, uh, 33,000 views. It uh, looks like three years ago, so my timing was off a little bit. But that's a project he made for a video he made for class. As you see, it got a, a good number of views. So he went on after class and recorded several more videos that really get into the details of how to use Android Studio and GitHub. Some really, really good videos if you're looking uh, for some of these tricky scenarios. So I'll put a plug in. Um, Will Willis is his name, and uh, Android Studio and GitHub will come up with these videos. So that'll get us started. Now, let's keep chugging away and work on our project.